Hi, everybody. Welcome to Queer Stories on the Swan, a podcast where two gay men chat and discuss all things queer in the Perth LGBTQIA plus community. I'm your host, Chris. And I'm your other host, Christo. And in today's episode, we're talking to Jasmine, her life story and advice for young people. So sit back and enjoy the show. So, Christo, how's your week been? Oh, yeah, it's been all right. Not much has really happened. Back to my housewife life again. So. Yeah, so you, yeah, you finished up filming on, now. On my so Netflix and stuff. So. <laughs> any um, any uh, update on when that uh, web series is happening? Or do you know when? Uh, I think it's supposed to come out about June or July. Nice. I think. So no, that'll be fun. now starting to edit it, so... Yes. Well, I'll use this um, space to plug this in. Um, so I'm oh. back on radio again um, yeah. uh, for my, well, not my station, but um, it's a oh, uh, student radio station um, made by uh, North Metropolitan TAFE um, at Leaderville. And um, it's called Boom Radio. And so I'm on there four times a week. Um, <laughs> I've got a breakfast it's show, morning, like early, <laughs> well, not early morning show, but we start at seven. So that's early for me um and then go to drive show and then like the top 20 countdown on like saturday night but on wednesday just in case anyone's interested in listening listening to me um just me um with much better my quality um (laughs) i host i am hosting a uh queer community specialty show so basically yeah. it's going to be featuring a lot of music from um, from queer artists and mm-hmm. I'm going to try and get some guests on. So if you're interested on being on air on an online student radio station, hit me up. Hit me up. Yes. So Ooh, that's, that's going to be good. That's going to be having Wednesday from 10 at, 10 at night to 1 in the morning. I know it's a bit of an awkward one, but <laughs> it works. Hey, people are going out to like um, Drag Factory that time. So yeah, exactly. people are clearly going out. So, hey. If you want to spend some time with me on air, then feel free. Reach out. Like you, cool. Christo. <laughs> Christo can yes. make an appearance on yes. the station. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> it, I mean, maybe. You could. I mean, t- yeah, actually, you out. were. You yeah. were. Because I remember last what? year, I, oh, yeah. I had to do, like, a, a bunch of, like, random voices talking about, I think it was, the free, right. I think it was the free Britney movement. I yeah. think it was. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. And other free cash of ones doing well. So I'm just going to look at the uh, analytics and the numbers of our show. So yeah. we have had, um, as of now, and as of this recording, 236 people listen to our show. Um, our episode with Aaron um, is definitely the the queen of the episodes um, most listened Ooh. to. So I guess Aaron is just that that fascinating. Well, I know he is, but um. All good stuff. So yeah, we're doing well. Um, so thank you all, I guess, so far, Aaron, Kieran, and Chloe, and of course our new guest for this episode, Jazz. Thank you so much for joining. We'll get to her in a second. Um, but yeah, anything yeah. you want to add before we get to the interview? Um, just that our numbers are growing on Instagram. We're up to ninety-eight. Followers. I know it's we're close to a hundred. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! God. What are you gonna do for our hundredth? um follow up Ooh. we should do something for them oh um i <laughs> will do drag no i'm kidding i can't do drag no. um <laughs> oh, God, we could come on as drag <laughs> i mean drag you cool. could <gasps> i know Christo, well, i'm saving that for pride month i was gonna say can you like put me in drag because like oh my god i would love i that. would live <laughs> oh my god we should do a special episode <laughs> we should do a special episode in drag and maybe we'll get uh we'll get a drag artist as our guest and i feel like that'd be pretty fitting yeah perfect all right we've uh we've uh, prattled on long enough let's bring on our guest yes. we have jazz with us right now and we've actually got her sitting right next to christo so we're making this a little bit more local i'm on the other side of the uh where are you south of the river so we're, we're distances away from each other so yeah. but jazz welcome thank you for having me so you are a um, <laughs> lifelong, well, lifelong friend? Can we say lifelong friend of Christo? Or, yes. or yeah, pretty we've much. known each other since we were, what, 13? Yeah, too long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After this, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so to kind of uh, tie back to our pilot episode, Christo, was this the girl that you were referring to? Your yes. girlfriend? This ah, is my first nice. girlfriend. See, she hasn't listened I to I haven't listened to anything, yet. so what, so what have you been be saying surprise. about You'll me? Have to go back and listen. Oh, God. I don't know how. <laughs> what? She's going to pull out of the, out, pull out of the show now? <laughs> uh, 
No. I'll show you later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay. There was nothing bad <laughs> yes. said. This was about my you. girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. My first and only. Really? Yes. Oh, I feel so flattered. Oh. You turned a man is. gay. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> no. No, she hasn't. We are born gay? <laughs> yes. I didn't turn Sorry. anyone. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot about that for a second. <laughs> no, no. So anyway, lovely to have you on. So, Jazz, take us from the beginning, doll. Sorry. Take us through your journey. Okay. Um, so I guess when I was younger, I didn't know that it wasn't like, I guess, normal quotation mm. marks in society to feel the same way I did for men and women. So when I was about 16 or something, I came to the sudden realisation that, oh, I might be bisexual. Mm-hmm. So a couple of years later, I'm sitting on the bed with mom. We're having a talk about random things. And then I just say, mom, I'm bisexual. And she go, she just looks at me and goes, honey, it's a phase. It's um, just a phase. Okay. How yep. little wrong did I think, well, how right did I think she was? Mm. Not wrong, right? Because <laughs> a few years after that, I realised I'm not bi, I'm pan. Ah. And so I, I kind of re-came out to my parents. So now you're both all, sitting down. all over the spectrum when it comes <laughs> all to over interest. The spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I yeah, just came around one, came around one day and mom and dad, I'm pansexual. They both looked at me and went, what the hell is pansexual? But mom goes, see, I told you you weren't bi. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. She, was she right. was right. She was right. Yeah. It was just a phase. It just phased into a much bigger thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so um, yes. so I guess for those, sorry, Chris. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, just for those who may not know uh, what That's the difference is between. Oh, there you go. Cool. We got each, we got our minds linked. We've been podcasting <laughs> for so long. Oh we just God. have the same thoughts. That's yeah. terrifying. Um, so, cord. what am I thinking yeah. now? <laughs> so, just explain to the um, anyone who's listening yeah. who may not know what the difference between bi and pansexual is. Okay, so with bi, you like men and women, Mm -hmm. um, and pansexual, you find anything attractive. Like, and a hot alien could could land, and I'd be like, yes, come at me. I mean, that sounds pretty good too. Maybe I'm pan too. No, I'm not. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yeah, which anything goes really. Uh, Okay, cool. Except butt stuff. Does that mean you have a little bit more options, or is it a bit more difficult? Because I know as as people, there were people who were bi. Well, I, I, I had a bi phrase. Um, and I think everyone was, did. Yeah. It's funny. Like a lot of people say like, oh, bias is the gateway to being gay or, or something else or being pan. Um, kind of is. <laughs> but there is this kind of this whole, oh, you're bi. That means like you're attracted to both. You have to choose between the two. Or I don't know if I want to date you because you might be attracted to me, a man, but then you're going to be attracted to a girl. Like, did you have any of that or have you had any of that since you come out as pan or? No, actually. No, you haven't? No. Everyone's been very supportive and well, that's, it shouldn't be surprising, but it's good. It's good. I do have to explain it a lot. And I I get the, oh, uh aha, you're attracted to to pots of pans. It's like, "Mm, yeah. Uh, I was going to say, did anyone bring up that? Oh, I'm pansexual. Well, I am pot sexual. Uh, (laughs) God. Oh, I'm so over it. So I remember Which, asking you what it was. Yeah. Because you came yeah. up to me and I was like, what the hell? What? <laughs> Please explain. But where, where I work at the moment, we're mm-hmm. very open and supportive of anyone in the, the LGBTQ plus community. Like my a couple of my mods are lesbians, a um, couple of are gay. Like there is one that is like really, really gay. <laughs> we love him. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're very open because one of the, the core values of the entire company is, is embrace your uniqueness yep. and that includes your sexuality. Mm-hmm. So it's, yeah. Like, That's true. I'm, I, if, if someone like, you know, dr- comes into work in drag, no one will care. No. They're like, oh yeah, that's awesome. Um, so you came out as by when you were about, you said you were 13, yes? Uh, no, I re- oh, I came to the realization when I was sixteen. I was about I don't know seventeen ish when I told my mum that you were bi. Yep. 
Yeah. Okay. So I was gonna I was mainly referring to like any of the high school experiences. Was there anything that made it pretty hard? I mean, high school is hard in general because <laughs> uh, high school. Um, but Kids. did you yeah. did you did you have an um an idea or did you know you were definitely not straight? Um, and and did that kind of come out during school? Was there any awkward dating phase or you tried to ask anyone out? Did any of that happen? Yes, okay. I um. I know that was a lot to I ask. Did. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Um, the question. I tried to ask this cute guy out on a bus to the year 11 prom and he said, well, I'm, I'm not into dances, which proved because he didn't go to either year 11 or 12. Mm-hmm. Um, but like after I got over him, um, I had a crush on another girl and I asked her out. She goes, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm actually straight. And I'm like, okay I feel really awkward and she goes no 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 don't don't it's okay it's okay I'm like, thank you yeah no. I had some I had someone ask me out but they were like way 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 younger and I'm just like I don't feel comfortable dating someone that young yeah I'm so sorry come back at me when you're yeah. legal basically <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, yeah no yeah, that's true um so uh, so high school was pretty easy in terms of the the, the sexuality thing it, yeah, was in, ter- too... in terms of the sexuality it was fine just yeah anything else <laughs> yeah um now when you came out uh, to your parents was there any um did it feel awkward afterwards or did it feel like you couldn't really be yourself around your parents or it no it felt more comfortable um coming out as pan than than by right because i yeah after i you know, told my parents, explained it. They they just were like, oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and and now we could be like watching something or you know see someone on the street, and I'd be like, oh, damn, she's so hot, mm. and I could do her. And my dad would be like, yeah. My mum just like slap, <laughs> no, bad, keep it in your pants, both of you. <laughs> That's great. That's so funny. <laughs> Uh, now again i have to refer back to the pilot episode when christo was talking about his life um uh, how you two kind of had a bit of a thing going on then you had this like this huge falling out during school (laughs) and um like christo do you want to kind of like fill in uh what we kind of discussed (laughs) um well i guess uh, no, how do I explain it? Um, <laughs> so weird because we joke about it. Yeah. Um, wait, which one? We've had a couple of like, was it the candy cane fight or see, the see, other fight? See, we talked you. about the candy cane fight and that was <laughs> oh hilarious. That was so funny. About that. Yeah, but it was yeah. so funny because like when we, when we like, had like a little tiff, everyone in school knew about it and the, their main objective was to get us back together. <sighs> I don't know if you, like you talked about that, but yeah, right. <laughs> it was so funny. Like Why big, like reality show going, oh my God, they are broken up. Crisis. We need to fix this immediately. Pretty much. We were in year 10, the it couple, and we weren't even part of the popular clique. No. Yeah. It was so funny. That's odd. I mean, I guess you, you two were just so bubbly and full of life and <laughs> am I accurate? It's, it's- no, he's laughing because I, I hiccup and I squeak when I hiccup. I don't know if you can, like, hear that, but, yeah. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. He can never get used to it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, sorry. So, so, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just trying to get the timeline around in my head. Um, so you came out to your parents, 16, 17, that's by, and then when did you come out as Pan? Uh, 22. I yeah. Think. So you're out of yeah. the teens and you're in the 20s. Good. That's a safe zone. Um, well, somewhat. <laughs> <The same laughs> because teens is just like, oh, oh God. Um, but yeah, have you, so just talking about, so you finished high school, um, pretty okay with the parents. Um, do have you, when did you start having like experiences with people who were not straight or have you been involved with the community? Have you gone to connections in the core and just been like, oh my God, this is my place? Yeah, the first time I walked into the court, I was just like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Is mm-hmm. amazing? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And um, cool. made out with a, a, a chicken in the bathroom. 
Hey. Yes, that, yeah, I mean, as you do. Uh, That's pretty awesome. You never got that experience in the boys' bathroom. <laughs> no, um, you just Christo, got your hair fixed. I, I think you should be yeah. glad that didn't happen because that is gross <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, the dad's for. <laughs> on on Tuesday though, um, I had a work event at the court, and I just because I haven't been there in, in so long because just, you. It got to a point where there was just way too many, like, you know, straight, straight people there. It's just like, we have connections in the court. That is it. In yeah. Perth. Well, we had Please lamb for leave. like a month. <laughs> Do you remember Please the- leave. Go yeah. go back to your straight places. You, you can't yeah. have chicks here. It's definitely an interesting oh, topic, so isn't it? it? It's it's because I remember going to the court for the first time was my... <laughs> My first day with my first boyfriend on Valentine's Day. You know, how, how incredibly cliche could you get? <laughs> um, and this was back in 2015. Do you remember the Giants? Do you remember those big wooden puppets that were yeah. roaming around the streets of Perth? Do you oh, those? yeah. Yeah, like, I know, we're talking seven years, I know. So it was a long time ago. <laughs> um, but, like, that was an amazing, amazing place. It just felt like I could kind of, like, be myself there. I didn't have to worry about mm. holding my boyfriend's hand or kissing him or doing anything like that. So I have like a lot of uh, memories attached to that place, um, for better or worse. Um, it was a mix there. Um, yeah. Yeah. Did you ever go to one of the traffic light parties there? Yes, multiple times. Oh, I didn't. I didn't, so I didn't get much luck there, but it was still fun to be there. I ended up making yeah, out I, with lots of guys there anyway, so you know, kind of worked out. <laughs> hey, you got something. <laughs> I got something. I, I, I did once, but I forgot to get her phone number because I was so damn nervous. Oh. <laughs> and she was gorgeous. Oh. Really good kisser too. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Maybe, oh. maybe one day. Maybe she'll be listening on the listen to our podcast and be like, hey, yeah. it's her. <laughs> <laughs> Reuniting. Um, but yeah, no, I know what you mean. And then I think oh, when did it start changing? Because like it, I, I need to make it clear right now. The problem mm-hmm. isn't mm-hmm. straight people being at the court. Okay. Because that's been happening for years. Yeah. Okay. That isn't the issue. It's the fact that a lot of straight girls will go there to get away from the guys because the guys, you know, I'm not saying this is all guys, but a lot of men will be very aggressively flirting Mm -hmm. to put it very lightly. Um, And then they kind of follow because I know you go, Hey, they're going to the gay clubs. Let's go there. And now people are feeling ostracized away from the court. Now there's heaps security there. They painted a rainbow on the front wall as much good as that does. Um, mm-hmm. It's now labeled as a queer friendly venue and not a queer venue. And yeah, so it, it's, it's, it's sad. It's sad to think yeah. about, but I, I, I've been there a couple of times over the last couple of years. And I still love going to drag factory. Um, the drag performances are still really good. You know, you get a few more drunk people up on the stage trying to outdo the Queens, which by the way, but- is <laughs> never a good idea. Like, who, who do you think you... <laughs> no one cares about your blonde do, darling. Um, <laughs> but it's, I do know what you mean. And now people don't feel safe to be there anymore. As much as they have mm. improved um, the situation, that it just doesn't feel quite right. So really, Connections is the safest place to so many people. And it can get really hot in there. Like, I don't know if you've been to Connections recently, but it's just, Mm, it's hot. It just feels cramped. I like it. I like the place. I think the music could be a little better. Um, But (laughs) I'm just worried about people listening to this podcast. But some of the music, (laughs) see, like, the court has better music, you know? Yes. The court just is is more fun, but. No, I'm too too old for that sort of stuff now. (laughs) Uh, uh, Look, I'm definitely not out as much as I used to be. Um, It's definitely less appealing. Um. So, yeah, uh, so what else have you had? Sorry, I know we got really off topic there for a second. Um, <laughs> we totally did. It's all good. <laughs> um, so what else did you um, get involved with the community? So you went to the court and it was all, like, amazing. Uh, what about relationships? Like, have they been pretty good? Has there been a lot of growing and learning in the process? What kill, doesn't kill you makes you stronger? Tell us about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, relationships. Well, so where do we start? <laughs> I well, we know you and Christo, in... but we can get that. Out of the way, <laughs> <Yeah. but> uh... <laughs> um, I oh, where, where, where do I start without going into bad memories? <laughs> they're, if they're too much, that's all right, we don't um, have to go into it. Let's just say I was, I was just in... married once. 
There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, I was with the guy for a very, very long time. And, and then she became a widow. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, but we, we were kind of, we were both pansexual. So mm-hmm. we were, you know, all for having threesomes and, and being open open with our relationship and self which a lot of people didn't understand a lot of well, you go swingers questions so, yeah well actually we no, talked to someone who is in a polyamorous no. relationship and yeah it can be really difficult uh, people you know how do you have that level of trust I mean I personally could not do that like I am no. such a jealous person <laughs> like if I'm dating you I want attention please on me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't even I, I don't even do that, that good with three-way like just in general if it's just casual like I need attention like <laughs> <laughs> I am such I'm, I am such a dog. I need attention. <laughs> but um, yeah. Yeah, we we got slightly drunk at a party once and mm-hmm. um one of his old friends had um just come out and she was like midway through the the trans process and we ended up having a three way that night and it was awesome like she was a dom so it was my first experience with a dom mm-hmm. and made me realize oh i can't like this mm. oh <laughs> I, I like this <laughs> <laughs> getting old um, <laughs> so yeah the, the only problem is like no trying to trying to get my my current boyfriend to tie me up <laughs> tie me up please <laughs> oh, that's good <laughs> Yeah, he's um he's straight, but he he jokes that it, you know he's he's a trier. He'll try anything. I'm um, just like, uh huh. Well, clearly, no, he hasn't tied if you up can, yet. If it, if, it can, <laughs> if it consists of, of of tits and a vagina, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> I want you back on the show one day and be like, hey, he tied me up. Update. <laughs> Totally he left me in the bedroom for three hours. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh, oh no! I haven't told him I was going to be talking. I about was going to say, please, know what we're doing please don't have him listen to this show. <laughs> oh, I won't. I won't. I love no, you, we babe. Need more listeners. <laughs> I love you, babe. I really do. <laughs> please don't press me. Uh, okay. In a bad way. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just thinking, oh. um, is, is there anything Hello. you want to ask this time? <laughs> Sorry, I fell. That's right. <laughs> as long as you're okay. <laughs> no, uh, Chris, sorry, is, <laughs> Chris, is there anything you want to um, ask Jazz? I've got a couple of questions, but I don't want to take over the whole show. No, no. I, I no, know he knows everything. So I he knows everything. Those questions. You can he knows you like. everything. <laughs> All right. I just um, on. <laughs> was there any has there been any struggles for you um being pan has there any has there been any thing that's just kind of made it a little bit difficult at all um at all just just in general work life um yeah no not really that's all right no, it's, it's been pretty good like i know there are other people that really like struggle with this and my heart goes out to them um so i feel really lucky that i haven't had like any bad or negative reactions yep you know that's good have you have you been to pride have you did you go to pride and you just like oh my god that this is amazing when ages ago with with chris and oh, it was so good it yep. was oh it's amazing i want to go again like this year but i'll probably be working <laughs> yeah oh no, no i i worked one year when pride was on and i was working in northbridge and i was at uh one of the low i was in a building that you could see the parade from the outside so i oh, saw them nice. come through and i'm like i wish i was outside right now not serving these kids for a cocktail function but i've got to work <laughs> oh god all the shirtless men look so good um <laughs> oh god um but yeah no that's good um do you have any advice for people who who well first of all came out as bi but feel like there might be something else or two for people who are pan if they're having any struggles like what sort of kept you going um have you had any doubts about yourself um okay so ad- advice is mm-hmm. listen to yourself 
be mm-hmm. be true to to yourself to what you feel um if you're scared there are communities that you can talk to there are people out there um that that will you know help you you know you can a trusted friend even for starters you know yeah yep. <laughs> I'm not really good at the advice sort of thing, really. <laughs> That's all right. Is there, is, there, is there anything you want to add? Is there anything you want to just uh, shoot to the breeze or the mics? Um, if someone says they are bi or pan and are dating a guy, it doesn't mean that they are suddenly straight. Uh, we still yes. have those feelings. Mm-hmm. We're just, you know, the, found found person. found a person that we we connect with, we we love, and it doesn't change anything. Yep. No, no, definitely. 100%. Um, I've, I've seen that myself as well. Cause like, like when I had my bi phase, I was dating a girl and and I think like someone from school said to me like, Oh, so you are straight. No, no. It just means I like both. And I happen to be dating a girl at the moment. Well, Mm -hmm. dating, not really. Um, (laughs) but yeah, so that was basically it, but no, no, good advice. Uh, And it's definitely a real thing. Um, but no, I appreciate you, uh, giving that so is there anything else christo you want to add no no (laughs) oh good we're all good we're all pretty pretty happy that's good very good all right if that's everything um jasmine thank you so much is it it's jasmine right is it or just jasmine jasmine yeah you can call me jazz jasmine Jazz, Jasmine, yeah. whatever you want to be called. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. We really appreciate um, your Chris, time. Chris, 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 Chris. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. He's not listening to me. I'm here. I hear you. Sorry. <laughs> we didn't do the um, gender, uh, whatever it is. The, the pronouns. Yeah. Okay. No, that's all right. I remembered as we were talking, I was like, okay, we'll do that at the end. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Welcome. So just it's it's back to the beginning. Editing, Chris. Yeah. Bill, that's yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm Chris. Pronouns are he and him. Christo. I'm Christo, and I'm anything. And Jess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jasmine, and she her. She her. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jazz. Really appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule to be on the oh, show. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. I'm just glad that I wasn't working today. <laughs> yeah. And now you get to relax and just have fun. Thank you for listening to Queer Stories on the Swan. You can leave a review for us wherever you get your podcasts. And you can find us on our socials on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Chris. And I'm Christo. And stay Stay fabulous. fabulous.